contacted the east wing. Hey guys, how's it going, Legend of Fuzzy? And I've got some Crisis 3 gameplay for you guys with the new weapon from the Lost Island DLC. This is the Claw, and look at that weird glitch over there. Uh, yeah, the Claw is an beast of a gun. It is amazingly good. Um, the other gun is included in the DLC is called the Rhino, which is a semi-automatic shotgun. But today we're talking about the Claw. The Claw is a hybrid from a LMG to an assault rifle, that's what I believe, because, you know, it's, it, it, it feels like an assault rifle when you're holding it, but it's, it also feels like an LMG, but that's just for me, maybe, but, um, yeah, so, this weapon, I am using it with the reflex sight, I think it's what, I don't know, it's reflex red dot, I don't know, but, uh, I also have the foregrip and the muzzle brake, that's basically going to reduce your recoil quite a lot, and you're going to need a lot of reduced recoil, because this gun is... Well, it has massive recoil, that's all I can really say. So I really recommend burst firing. Or, you know, if you're in really, really sticky situations, like really close encounter situations, you can just, you know, just just full on fire. <laughs> um, you, you, it's, I don't know, it's, it's quite reliable um, at a medium to long range distance. But actually at a long range distance, if you do burst fire, you're going to get the, you're going to get the kill. Because it's very high powered, you've got a lot of damage for the, with this gun. And is immensely powerful um that's basically what i gotta say to start off with but i sadly couldn't get any gameplays on the new maps that is because you know zero people plays them <laughs> they have like seven playlists and no one plays them in australia or oh, I, I mean actually on the playlist list it has the population on it and no one was playing it and i was like crushed i was so disheartened <laughs> But at least I could use the weapons. I, tug, I, 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 I can just toggle the playlist and play with normal players. And actually, I ran into a dude who I've been watching on YouTube for a bit. He is called Deceptions HD or Deceptions on Xbox Live. That's his YouTube channel. He uploads Crisis 3 gameplay commentaries, just like I do. And if you guys would like to see Crisis 3 gameplay commentaries, I definitely recommend go subscribe to him because he is a... He's pretty good. He <laughs> He's a pretty great gameplay commentator. He uploads really awesome Crisis 3 gameplays. He's gonna up, well, um, I know he's got a, um, Rhino gameplay up. I, I mean, like, you know, the, the new DLC weapon, the, uh, semi-automatic shotgun, the Rhino. Um, it's a great gameplay. I really recommend you guys watch it. He's also an Australian gamer as well. That's probably why I have such a great connection in this game, because he actually got host, and it was amazing. And as you see, guys, get my Max Nose suit already. We we're not even three minutes into the game, and it, this, this gun just tore through enemies like a claw. Get it? <laughs> Oh god, I'm so cheesy, but anyway, so look, is he burst firing these guys? I couldn't really get him, but if he did stay out of cover, I probably would have got him. But anyway guys, so, um, I recommend perks for this gun would be maneuverability, because you definitely need to get rushing around the enemies and, you know, get the jump on them, and, um, what else? Weapon Pro, definitely, because this gun takes a while to reload, um, that is quite, that is optional. Uh, with the aim enhance, I reckon, but I like to use Weapon Pro. And for the life of me, I cannot remember what my, my other perk was. I'll take five seconds to think about it. Um, I can't remember. So, <laughs> you guys, um, you can probably look back. Um, or next time I die, you can have a look. But it, I, it wasn't. It was. I think. I believe it was quite a necessary perk. Um, it wasn't aim enhance. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, the attachments I'm using are reflex sight. Um, muzzle break and foregrip. That basically is going to reduce your recoil a lot because, like I said before, I may have said before, it has very high recoil. And as you can see, I burst firing that dude, I got him instantly. Well, not instantly, but you know, <laughs> um, I got him. I got him down. And this guy here, you know, just maybe like just you know, uh, medium, medium burst fire. No, not burst fart. <laughs> medium burst fires. Uh, you're going to get someone at a medium range. Uh, Short range with this gun, it's quite inaccurate. If you zoom in, it's got massive recoil, um, as I've said before three times. Um, so yeah, I recommend just burst firing. In pretty much in 80% of situations you're going to encounter with this gun. Uh, that is if you do have the DLC, and I do recommend getting the DLC, but it's, t it's totally your choice, guys. I'm just saying uh, that this DLC is worth it for the guns, not for the maps, because no one plays the maps. I may be wrong in two days because you know it is the weekdays and um on the weekends people will be playing um xbox live 
because you know that's maybe just the, the time they have. Um, so you can whatever country you're in, you'd probably expect to have players playing during the weekends. So there may be a chance for players playing on the new map packs on the weekends. I do not know that yet because it hasn't it hasn't been a weekend yet uh, with the map packs. But anyway, as you can see here, I just sprayed that dude down, and it took me a while to get him down. But sorry, um, <laughs> it took me a while to get him down. But you know, it you you you've gotta be quite patient with the gun. Look at this. Okay, I get this guy, and then he jumps out. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I get 99 assists on him in a little bit. Wait, yeah, there we go. Oh my god, I hate people just jump out of the vehicles instead of lacking battlefield. Oh god, that pisses me off. And this dude, Xbox Gamer Tag, he gets me so many times, it is so annoying. As you see, I do transition there. Um, that is because, you know, the rest of the gameplay, I do die a lot. I actually went on like a 20 kill streak just then, but then I got ruined. <laughs> and then I get I crushed even more. Um, and I just, I, I skipped a few deaths. As you see, I only got three kills. But um, anyway. Um, today, actually, I was in Chapel, and Chapel, um, in our school, we have a, we're in a private school, it is a uniting church school, um, which is basically a, a school system of, uh, the Christianity, where they don't really, you know, make you believe in it, they don't, they don't really force it on you, um, it's more of just saying, you know, just, uh, be happy, <laughs> be happy kind of school, um, you know, it, um, anyway, that, 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 that doesn't really be <laughs> the point. Uh, the point, actually, is that I actually made a speech in chapel today. Uh, I, you speak in front of three houses, and the houses in our school, we got 12, and here's three um, in each chapel. Um, and, um, I sat, and you would say there's about 120 people per, per house, and I was in one of them. So I, t I was talking to 360 people. It is quite it is quite daunting, I've got to admit. Even and it was in quite a small room, so I felt a bit, you know, claustrophobic. But actually, commentating um, really really helped me express what I was trying to say about the tour, because um, I was actually, I was actually talking about the um, Jiglong tour that I was on a few weeks ago or last week, as you guys may know if you've been uh, listening to my previous videos. I went on a tour last Thursday to an Aboriginal community called Jiglong, and I did a speech on it today um, but I, if I didn't um, do commentating if I didn't have experience in you know uh, these kind of situations or not situations but more of like you know times where I talk to myself or you know I'm, well you know talk to you guys basically um, about shit <laughs> um, I could I, I could easily just talk to people I mean I'm, well in the um, in the room and it felt great. I actually, I got my point across. I, I didn't stutter. I didn't stumble because I, I do stutter and stammer a lot. That's just me. Uh, but anyway, guys. So yeah, it was a pretty great day today. Pretty tired because <laughs> I had sprint, sprint the con in the morning. But anyway, so hope you guys do in, did or did enjoy the gameplay. I'll try and get some Rhino gameplay up next. Um, I did hope you enjoy this claw gameplay though. Twenty eight to eight, and yeah, I will see you guys later.